Nice take. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. Welcome to the new Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Jenna McEwen, and today's episode is all about topwater action. My father and I are at Branch's Seen River Lodge in Northern Ontario, and we're gonna be using poppers to fish for smallmouth bass. It's gonna be a great episode with lots of information, so stay with us. The new fly fisher has been made possible thanks to Northwest Ontario Tourism GoFishingOntario.com Orvis Sporting Traditions Rio Products Superfly, fly fishing made easy Northwestern Ontario's sunset country, frequently known as God's country. With over 70,000 lakes and rivers, finding fishing adventures is never difficult. No matter whom you speak to, when talking about freshwater fishing in Canada, Ontario's sunset country is almost always mentioned. Nowhere else do the lakes offer such a variety of species and so many trophy fish opportunities. This week we traveled to one such place, Branches Scene River Lodge. Our hosts are lodge owner Quentin and Lori Branch, who have been in the fishing business for a very long time. Guiding us on this trip is Darcy Pastuk, an easygoing and fun-loving fellow. He's fished these waters his whole life and is an expert on what to use and how. This should be a very fun and educational experience. So Darcy, where are the bass? Why are we here and what's the kind of structure we're fishing right now? Um, we're fishing a little bit uh, deeper and uh, the water is a little bit cooler than other spots we've been in. So we're gonna try fishing off rock shoals and uh, a little bit deeper and see if they'll hit. Right there, yeah. Fish on. Oh yeah, nice one. <laughs> That's a good size. That's a good size bass. Thanks, Darcy. You're welcome. And I did exactly what you told me. I just cast right up against the shore, right off that rock there. And do you want to just hold my rod so I can... There we go. I'm beautiful bass. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You get a fish? Fish on. That's a big bass. I have a fish on, never mind. Got distracted by your fish, you barely even felt him. Good job, Dad. Now that's a smallmouth. <laughs> Most poppers that are commercially sold 
have a weed guard attached. When fishing smallmouth bass, we like to remove this guard as most of the structure we fish is rock and wood. Also, coloring the bottom of the popper black with a marker helps the fish to see the popper easier when the skies are bright. Awesome take. Oh my goodness. The fish here are so strong. Looks good right in the corner of the mouth. Try and bring him over to you, okay, Darcy? Yep. Man, these fish are like fighting. Got it? Oh, wow. That's an awesome bass. Perfect. Sweet. Thanks, Darcy. That's that's great. You're welcome. This is why we've come to branches in the Seen River. There is nothing more exciting than seeing a big bass take your fly on top water. It's absolutely incredible. We'll be right back. It's our 50th anniversary this year. Um, the camp's been in existence since the 30s, but my parents bought it in 1967. Um, and we're a, we're a full service camp. We've got housekeeping cabins uh, for those wanting to do their own cooking and American plan packages where we do the cooking. And uh, we're located on the middle of one of the best fishing systems in Northwestern Ontario, the Seine River chain. And uh, uh, we got access to all five lakes. We're pretty much in the geographic middle of the, uh, the system. So we're really lucky like that. But even though we've been around 50 years, all our facilities are, uh, are um, either new or newly renovated. So. From coming into the camp, you wouldn't know we've been around that long. You just get the benefit of the experience without the, uh, without the older facilities. Oh, that was an awesome hit. Did you see that? Darcy, that was great. I saw that hit. It was amazing. <laughs> Wasn't hooked very good. Good job. Thanks. It's actually amazing how close that guy was to shore. Thanks, Darcy. You're welcome. So cool. The recommended equipment needed when coming to Scene River is a nine foot six weight rod of medium to fast action. Bring a heavier rod such as a nine foot eight weight for casting bigger flies if you decide to target northern pike. The lines we principally used were floating bass taper lines for poppers and intermediate camo lines for shallow water subsurface flies and as well we had full sinking lines for deeper water of eight to ten feet. Full sinking lines will keep the fly in the strike zone longer. 
The bass fishing, it, it offers something for everyone. We've got a really high population of bass and really good sizes. Like the, the sizes surprise even seasoned bass fishermen that come from all over the place. Um, we, uh, you know, we've got a lot of shoreline on uh, a system this big, but uh, we're lucky in the sense that there's not a lot of sheer drops. It's a lot of gradual rocky shoreline, so it's really conducive to bass habitat. Um, uh, lots of uh, good uh, bait for the bass to eat, lots of crayfish, uh, just, just the perfect conditions for the, uh, the bass to really uh, thrive and, uh, and our fishermen really benefit from that. We, we get a lot of fishermen from all over the place, but uh, especially like a lot of mid-south, um, we have anglers who like doing top water, like fishing deep on ledges in the mid-summer, and, uh, and we're getting some fly fishermen now and it's becoming a real, real growth part of the business for us. So it's about seven o'clock and we've had a great dinner and we've come out for what's hopefully gonna be a great evening bite. We're hoping the wind dies down a bit and we can get some really, really great top water action. There he is, got him, yes. <laughs> that was awesome. That's a good sized bass. I'm using the same colored popper as I was using earlier today and it's working great. The key thing is that it still has that black colored bottom. It's perfect for this time of day because in the fading light the fish can really see it against the top of the water but at the same time it's still bright enough that I can see it, I can see where I'm casting, I can see my presentation and you can catch the fish. <laughs> I have a fish. It's a big bass. Oh. Thank you, Daddy. Thanks, Dad. It's an awesome, that's an awesome fish. And there he goes. <laughs> it's just, it's just bass after bass. It's, I don't have any words, this is so cool. It's the end of the day and we've done great considering the conditions we've had. Tomorrow is supposed to be absolutely perfect with low winds, sun, and lots of heat. The bass should be perfectly on for top water, and I can't wait. More top water action when we return. Perfect so I wore So it's first thing in the morning. It's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be hot. It's perfect conditions for topwater bass fishing. But it's been a cool night. So the water temperature is still high 50s. I think once it gets into the low 60s, it'll, the topwater will be on. But what we're going to do, we just fished along the shoreline. We haven't had any hits yet on top water. So I'm gonna to switch to a subsurface. I'm gonna fish the ledge that drop off edges uh, down below and see if I can move a fish. Meanwhile, Jenna will continue to use the popper and between the two of us, we'll figure this out. And I think we're gonna get some bass here very shortly. 
And as it gets warmer, it's going to get really exciting. Dad. Cat bass. <laughs> so I kind of did a bad thing. I kind of poached this fish from Jenna. Yeah, not funny. I, I cast, she put her popper up under the shallow edge there, brought it across, and then I cast right to the edge. My fly dropped down, and I don't think it sank more than a couple of feet, and I felt a tug, and I got this bass. First bass of the day. So they're not on top yet. We haven't had anything come up, but that's okay. That's how it is. Oh, this is a nice bass. Look at this. That's not bad, is it, Darcy? That's a very nice one. All right. That's, yeah. oh, that's. <laughs> so far. I think so. This is, uh, this is four pounds, easy. Wow. Whoa. Oh, that's a big bass. Look at that. All right. Look at that. Support it. I see more bass. Look at that. And Jenna says she sees some more bass. That's perfect. But this is what we're looking for. I'm going to quickly pop the fly out here. There we go. Oh, look at that fish. That is absolutely gorgeous. And what's incredible, as I release this fish, get her in the water quick. I, I can see the lodge right there. We're two minutes away two minutes away from the lodge and Jenna's seen fish first thing in the morning and it's going to be a great top water day. I just got that subsurface. It's fantastic. You should fish rocky points, sunken islands and reefs which are huge fish attractors. Always fish a sunken island thoroughly as you never know which side of the island the fish will hold. Nice job. Thanks, Dad. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, that's a cute little bass. He was, was he tight right against yep, the shore? right against the shore. Oh, that's good. That's a good sign. Bring him up. Head up. Trying, trying. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> oh, top oh. already came out. I'm just going to stop here. Ooh. There we go. And carefully take your popper out. Thank you. Yeah, he was right tight to shore. Nice take. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. Very slow and deliberate. No, you go ahead, Darcy. This one's not, again, is real big yet, but they're so big and thick and strong. Oh, you can tell they're really muscular, not even just by the way that they fight, but the way they, they look, too. Yeah, and that's a six-weight rod. Okay. Using there, got it? Right in okay. there. Perfect. Here, I can take it out if you want, Dad. Okay, sweetheart. You got it? Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Huh. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> that was great. This is a really awesome shoal that Darcy took us to. Rocks everywhere. The water's a little bit warmer because it's so shallow and the bass are on. Got one. Got one? Good job, Dad. Hello, guy. Saw him come. He's right in the edge of the bank on the drop off. Yeah, hang on. I'll bring him up heads first. Down there. Thank you, Darcy.
See the clump of earth, Jenna? The, with the tree on it? Yep. Yeah, just I know. To the I right of that. Okay, I just wanted to finish working this area. No. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice, Jenna. Thank you. See? Yeah. It's funny, though, because every time one of you starts to talk to me and I look away from the fly, that's when the fish seem to be biting. Oh, that's a nice one. I love the stripes on them. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Nice. Well, our time here has unfortunately come to an end. My father and I have had a really great time and the fishing's been absolutely amazing. If you'd like to know more about Branches Scene River Lodge or our show, visit us on the web at thenewflyfisher.com. Thanks for joining us on our adventure and we'll see you soon. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to Northwest Ontario Tourism, GoFishingOntario.com, Orvis Sporting Traditions Rio Products Superfly Fly Fishing Made Easy